All right, testing one, two, three, just past about 8.30 or so, give or take a little bit. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a quiet Saturday night in the Mid-South. Nothing really major going on. Here's hoping it stays that way. No major earthquakes to talk about on the New Madrid fault line, so always good news for that to be going on. We're going to be seeing again the possibility of some drier weather throughout the next several days. Really not that much going on into the course of the next couple of days where it comes to any change in temperature or rainfall or anything else. So if you have any plans for outdoors, you should be able to have some pretty good conditions out there uh, for that. We just don't really see too much of anything going on uh, at this point in time where it comes to changes across much of the Mid-South. Now, if you have any plans for, say, the second week of October, that's where we start to see uh, the potential of some more interesting type of activity going on. But we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. So thanks a lot to everybody uh, for joining us for the early portion of the show for tonight. Things, again, decently quiet. Give me about two seconds to get our our Facebook friends in here so everybody can see a little bit more about what's going on for tonight. Again, decently quiet across much of the area and should be staying that way. If you've never joined us here before, glad to have you along for the ride. Forecast information here, uh, social media information here, here, and over there in the graphics. So again, decent amount of information there for you if you have anything you'd like to pass along. If there's anything here you would like to see, uh, climate data, more information about river information as it, or across the Mid-South, area, uh, anything in the way of military weather going on across the world. If you have friends or loved ones serving at United States military posts, uh, we'd love to be able to go to accommodate you on that. So please let me know and be glad to give you details as to what's going on. Currently in the Mid-South, again, maybe a little bit on the hazy side, but Beyond that, things are decently quiet. Uh, great view from Germantown City Hall Cam looking off to the northwest and across uh, Germantown Parkway and Poplar Pike all the way over to around the towers of East Memphis. Really just not that much happening this time. Likewise, on radar, complete and total clean sweeps. Things are going to continue to be pretty dry for tonight. Now, there is a chance of a few speckles of rainfall coming our way as we get into tomorrow. We're just not looking again at a lot of major stuff happening, but it is going to be a possibility at least, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Let's take a look and see what's going on again with earthquakes across the Mid-South, which again, fortunately, is not all that much. Center for Earthquake research and information not showing anything in the way of earthquake activity and if you'd like to know more about what's going on across the area you can get more from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information that's again available from the University of Memphis or you can go directly to United States Geological Survey and get more information on that that's available at earthquakes.usgs.gov and you can get tons more information about what's going on not just in the United States but all around the world including those one large earthquakes that happened down around Mexico City and also the ones that happened back over to around the area of the uh, close to Indonesia in the last several days. So something to think about there. Decent amount of cloud cover out across portions of the Mid-South earlier today. Some of that haze from burning fields, uh, a lot of that was just, again, the cloud cover that we had across much of the Mid-South area. And as of right now, some decent views out there for clear skies, which will be important in about 10 minutes for an iridium flare to to uh, fly over the Mid-South area. We'll show you more about what that looks like here in just a little while. Currently, Lee is gone. It's way out over the Atlantic, so it's not a threat uh, to anybody else at this point in time. Uh, welcome, everybody, on our Facebook page for checking on in. Gloria Davis from Ashland, Mississippi. Mary Jewell from South Fulton, Tennessee. Uh, Jennifer Anona Edgerton. Yeah, we try to do that uh, earthquake check as often as possible, as close as we are to the New Madrid Fault. It's something to keep an eye on. And important for national Preparedness Month, which ends today, but it's also important to make sure that we get prepared for anything possible uh, just across the area. Uh, you know, earthquake, major severe weather outbreak, uh, God forbid a terrorist attack, something like that. Making certain you have a plan in place is a very good idea, so something to think about there. Maria is heading off to the north east at about 32 miles per hour, rocketing over toward the northeastern part of the Pacific or the Atlantic, and that could bring it in very close contact with the British Isles in the next couple of days. It could be hitting Ireland by Tuesday. What's left over, it has enough structure to where this could be a breezy, uh, windy, rainy scenario for the British Isles. Now, a couple of other things going on into and around the area of Florida. We have one disturbance taking place here. Uh, low possibility of anything developing out of this 
It's showing again about a 20% possibility of developing. So this storm system located right over northeast Florida, bringing a lot of heavy rains to that area, southeast Georgia tonight and into Sunday, but again, does not look like a major threat for anybody just yet. Now the other one sitting down, unfortunately, right where it's not needed, almost smack over Puerto Rico, uh, heavy chances of rainfall going on there. The best news about this particular storm is that this one is not expected to develop into anything else. So here's uh, what we hope is going to be sticking around for the next few days moving out to sea. And as of right now, there is nothing developing back out to the west of us. So good news on that for right now. And part of the cause of that is, again, that we do not have anything to show uh, in the way of clear skies out that direction. Taking a look at earth.nullschool.net. If you take a look at all that yellow right there off of the Sahara Desert, that's dust and sand being blown out over the Atlantic, and that does a very good job of kind of putting a quash on any development of uh, hurricanes or tropical storms or anything like that. You could have impulses of energy moving out that direction, but unfortunately at this point in time, the sand and the dust does a very good job of filtering out the sunlight, so we don't see too much of anything happening to bring us anything more in the way of uh, risks of tropical storms. So things are quiet for now, and that's good news for everybody on Puerto Rico undergoing the uh, difficulties that they're uh, experiencing right now. Several organizations could use your help on that. So again, if you can please donate uh, whatever you can, whether it's money or food or time or effort or anything like that, great opportunity to help out your fellow neighbors, your fellow citizens in Puerto Rico. Fortunately, nothing going on in the Mid-South area for tonight, and for the next several days, the seven-day hazardous weather outlook at the top of the screen here is showing nothing in the way of major problems. We do have, again, some high pressure, well in control of the East Coast states, and that is bringing a chance of some showers and some thunderstorms down to around the Gulf Coast and Florida, thanks in part to that tropical, de uh, not tropical depression, but just tropical system. It's also doing a good job of deflecting anything back to the north, so we don't have a lot of anything really heading our direction anytime soon, because high pressure is just saying, whoa, stop, you're not coming this direction, and that's about as good as it gets for there. Throughout the rest of the evening tonight, low temperatures back into the mid to upper 50s to right around the lower to mid 60s so a beautiful evening coming up cool though if you're heading out the door pretty soon may want to go ahead and take the umbrella with you no chance of rainfall expected tonight high temperatures tomorrow going back into the mid to upper 70s to round about the lower 80s so a beautiful sunday on the way and for the next several days our forecast also has uh, some very nice conditions out there but little if anything is going to be changing anytime soon notice again that things are pretty stable all the way on through and this again is something that is pretty typical, can be pretty typical for this time of the year uh, to think about. Again, we should be back in some cooler conditions, and we will be as we get closer toward the second week of October, but it's going to take a while. So as of right now, pretty stable call it monotonous, if you will. Uh, as of right now, there's really just not much that's going to be changing on there. Uh, Mike Launius, photos on Facebook. Yes, you can send them if you want to. Uh, usually just send it to me in a Facebook message uh, over on the screen. Post them on the on the uh, page, and I'll get them. Facebook has been kind of finicky lately about sending stuff through, so uh, if you could send them either by email, and you can see that, uh, again, austin.onic at wreg.com. That's my uh, email address, or or you can send it to me on Twitter if you'd like to do so as well, which is usually a little bit easier uh, just to be on the safe side there. So something to think about if you'd like to send anything along at that point in time. If you'd like to be a Skywarn spotter trained by the National Weather Service, next few weeks we'll have numerous meetings coming up. Uh, next one will be in Fulton, Mississippi. Uh, that'll be coming up on Monday the 2nd at 6.30 p.m. Tuesday the 3rd in Jackson, Tennessee at the Emergency Operations Center. And on the next week after that, Tuesday the 10th in Huntington, Tennessee at the Emergency Operations Center for Carroll County. Numerous meetings. Meetings coming up over the next several days and weeks right on into November. There is not one for uh, Memphis at this time. That's because the main one is usually held for Memphis, usually in about February or March for the main severe weather season. The secondary severe weather season is coming up. That's why these meetings are being held. Late October, most of November, early December, we can get some pretty nasty weather in here, so something to think a look, take a look at there. Coming up in just about another uh, four 
minutes or so. There's going to be an iridium flare in the northern sky, so I'm going to sign off here so everybody can go out and take a look at it. Very close to 849, dropping down toward the northern horizon. Yes, this is upside down, but this is what the uh, star charts look like for stargazers in a circular fashion. You're going to be looking for a bright star fading into view below and to the right of the north star Polaris, and then looking forward to fade out just as quickly. This is iridium satellite number uh, 54, and again, Again, this will be taking place in just a few minutes along the northern horizon, so go ahead and head on out and see if you can see that. Hopefully, clear skies there. Astronomical Open House will be taking place tomorrow night, if it's clear enough, at the University of Mississippi at Kennan Observatory. That's at Ole Miss in Oxford, Mississippi, starting at 7 o'clock through 9 o'clock. Great opportunity to take your kids to. Families are welcome. And if you'd like to know more about that, I'll be posting more details about that. Everything I can find on Banned Books Week, learning about censorship and how to fight it and what you can learn uh, reading from some of the books that have been challenged over the years and tons more information available, again, on my Facebook page, which for some reason is having trouble updating at this point in time. Twitter at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WRAG3 and also on my Periscope page as well at periscope.tv slash aonic underscore WRAG3 if you'd like to know more. Again, northern skies at about 848. you got about three minutes before that iridium flare happens, so go out and take a look at that and have a complete uh, check your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of our online video weather blog on International Podcast Day. And stay tuned for more of News Channel 3. Kristen Holloway has the news. Mike Sadie has a busy day in sports. And, of course, yours truly with all the weather you can handle tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the weekend on air and online.